show tomorrow night. Uh, <laughs> and Saturday. Second semi on yes. Thursday and the final on Saturday. Exactly. Great. Yes. kept safe. In other words, a lot of things and substance. So I'm looking forward. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Moi, je vais en parler en français. Bien sûr. Alors, s'il y a moyen de poser la question en français, c'est avec plaisir. Vous oui. C'est quoi de ce soir le débat Oh, ben J'espère que ce sera un débat enrichissant pour l'ensemble des citoyens européens et qu'on relance un peu d'espoir en Europe. J'espère que ce sera le cas. Merci. Merci.
Tonight. Well, I hope we can help voters decide who to vote for in the European elections. It's only one week, you know. There are a lot of decisions, a lot is at stake. Let's see what people decide about the future of Europe. What subject would you like to stress tonight in the debate? Well, I think we need to do something about people being dissatisfied with the way things are going. I need to, we, we, we need to show that we mean business when we talk about the social pillar. We need to show that we mean business when we say we want to do something about the housing crisis. We need to give people a bit more optimism, a bit more hope. Thank you so much. What do you My think pleasure. About this system? I think it's a great system. What, what do you expect me to say? <laughs> I think it's a great system. I think it, it means that Parliament has greater influence on the choice for the European Commission. It also means that because Parliament is directly elected by the European citizens, the European citizens have a greater influence on the choice of the next Commission President. I mean, the resistance of certain countries, as, such as France or Netherlands, uh, in that, in that case, you, you understand their arguments. So why are well, not? Because they want to take the decision by themselves without the European Parliament. Still, they'll find out that the European Parliament takes this very seriously indeed.
Is it not also to your disadvantage because uh, the European People's Party is uh, probably going to take the most votes? Well, you know, to be the next Commission President, you need to build a majority in the European Parliament. Watch me, I'll build a majority in the European Parliament. Thank you. Thanks. that instead of unanimous uh, decision, majority decision should take place uh, to, in order to ensure uh, majority, for example, and step forward in such cases like migration and so on? Well, I believe um, the treaty is clear on where we have majority decisions. I believe we need, and this is also the Commission's position, majority decision making also in fiscal affairs and social affairs. Um, so also as a position of the Commission, I believe we need more majority decision uh, making because otherwise Europe is paralyzed and doesn't move forward. So do you think uh, you consider it is a good move? By I think Mr. In, cer in, cer in certain areas, I'm not talking about for Hofstad's proposal, I'm talking about our proposals from the Commission, certain areas, fiscal areas and, and social areas, I think we need to think about having a qualified majority voting. In other areas, it is less uh, important. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. reageer op wat anderen zeggen, maar ik weet van tevoren niet, uh, nooit wat er gebeurt. Okay. Nou, vorige week in Sibiu uh, doken opeens allerlei alternatieve namen op van commissievoorzitters. Georgieva, uh, Barnier speelt natuurlijk al een tijdje. In hoeverre beïnvloedt dat uh, jullie campagne? Nou, ik laat me er in ieder geval niet uh, door afleiden. Wat ze in de conservatieve hoek allemaal aan bekokst over zijn, moeten ze zelf weten. Dat lijkt me meer een probleem voor Weber dan voor mij. Dank. Succes. Dank. Yes. Uh, in the letter you sent to Romanian uh, Prime Minister, yes. uh, you said something that Article 7 is not enough. I want to ask you if in your project for European Commission, do you have, do you propose a new mechanism to determine a state, you know, to well, remain? Well, I, I wrote, I wrote a letter yeah. to the President, to the both, both Presidents of both Chambers and to the Prime Minister as a preemptive step to say it's not too late, you can still fix this. Don't adopt this legislation. Don't um, uh, diminish the fight against corruption. Don't go that way and do implement the recommendations the, commissions, the Commission has sent to you. So that, that is the proposal of the Commission. And um, I think uh, what is new in this, I would say, is to try and be preemptive. And I hope in the next Commission we can do more preemptive work because that's always better than have to correct afterwards. But do you believe Article 7 is enough because it seemed it reached his limits, you know? No, I think, I think Article 7 is extremely useful and very important. The process is still ongoing in the Council, both on Poland and Hungary, but with Romania we still have a chance to prevent things from happening. Because Parliament adopted legislation, but it has not been enforced yet. So I'm trying to convince the institutions in Romania not to take these steps. Did you receive that answer to your letter? The only thing I've seen is what I saw in the media so far, and that's not very encouraging. But I, you know, I, I keep trying. Did you give them a deadline? I didn't give a deadline, uh, but we all know that at some point this legislation will either have to be adopted, yes or no. Thank you. Thank you. Ma io credo di sì, perché l'Italia adesso è un governo che non governa. Dunque abbiamo bisogno di gente capace di governare questo paese grande, 60 milioni di italiani europei. werden, wo klar wird, in welche unterschiedlichen Richtungen äh, die verschiedenen Parteien Europa entwickeln wollen. Als Grüne sind wir da klar, wir wollen ein ökologisches Europa, ein soziales Europa und ein demokratisches Europa. Ja, und ich freue mich auf eine sehr spannende Debatte. Was macht die zu der eigentlichen Kandidatin? Als Grüne 
wissen wir um die Dringlichkeit, die wir aufbringen müssen, um unsere natürlichen Lebensgrundlagen zu erhalten und uns zu retten. Und wir sind da die einzige Partei, die glaubwürdig war. Die anderen Parteien haben auch in den letzten Jahren bewiesen, dass sie vielleicht manchmal über das Klima reden, aber nichts dafür tun, nicht dafür abstimmen. Und ich glaube, es braucht jetzt eine starke ökologische Stimme im Europäischen Parlament, die sich auch einsetzt für ein soziales Europa, für ein vielfältiges Europa und für Menschenrechte. Das ist dringend nötig. Vielen Dank. Dankeschön. Uh, what do you think about the current heated debate about the Spitzenkandidaten system in Europe, uh, the resistance of uh, France and Netherlands? Well, what is important in elections is that you get a choice as a citizen about the parties that will run the show, but also the people involved. I don't think it would at all be a good idea if we go back to a system where the council, without any uh, relation to the election results, will just pick someone out of their drawer that no one has ever seen before, that has not been part of an election uh, campaign, has not been debated, has not been presenting himself or herself uh, to the citizens. So uh, I think it's important that we strengthen European democracy and not weaken it. Thank you.
Ahora. A ver, vamos a verlo.
So it is a very exciting day for us as candidates to show the European public that there are different ideas on the table. How do we manage the next five years of the European Union? That the people have the say, the people decide about the future of our continent, that there are different ideas on the table, a democratic competition, and finally people have their say on the 26th of May. That's a great day for us as candidates to present ourselves, to present our party programs, and I will enjoy it. What do you think of the resistance of uh, Emmanuel Macron, Macron, Macron towards the Spitzenkandidat system and uh, personally against you then? I believe in democracy. I believe in the principle to show the people before the elections what is your program and what are the persons, what are the personalities who can lead afterwards the European Commission. That is what I believe in, that is what my party, the European People's Party, the today's strongest political group in the European Parliament is believing in and that is what we will present. So we know what we want and the others have to do their job. People will finally decide. Mr. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.